Greetings and welcome to another of my 3D printed video. Today we will start a new project altogether and as you can see it will be Project Prometheus. So uh, the goal of this project will be to create an x 303 uh, ship from the Stargate, uh, design the model from scratch uh, and basically do the same as with uh, the 304 and then of course print it out, uh, paint it and assemble it together. Um, now uh, we will of course use some uh, reference pictures but the most important one that I used uh, for purposes of this project uh, is actually uh, this schematics. As you can see here we have both a front uh, side and top view and I really use this to actually create the, the model itself. Now uh, if I return it to the previous model as you can see uh, this is not the final version of the model. Uh, this is the model from the show obviously but uh, the model itself went through uh, many upgrades during its life lifespan and what I decided is to actually take the very last uh, iteration that was in the episode Ethan or Ethan uh, where the Prometheus was uh, sadly destroyed uh, but that was the most recent um, iteration so I took uh, that one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I also took uh, different pictures and uh, as you can see this one, this is actually the uh, model uh, that was used in game, though uh, further improved by a person named Spino Breaker and uh, who uh, basically allowed me to use the, these pictures and to see the layout of weapons and so on. So I would like to thank him and uh, yeah, here we have a few uh, details and well, what not. Anyways, that was all when it comes to, well, um, reference pictures. And I think that now we can go to Creo and take a look at the model itself. So uh, this is the model. And now a little presentation of that model. As you can see here in the uh, model tree, it is once again um, divided into several uh, sub-assemblies, just like uh, previously with the 304. Uh, the model is also scaled uh, with the 304 I uh, designed previously so it more or less fits uh, to the exact scale that those two ships are. So it is a little bit shorter. If uh, you remember the 304, the maximum length was uh, around 60 centimeters. This ship has maximum length of uh, 450. Anyway, what I would like to do is now go through basically all the sub-assemblies and show you uh, how I designed it and how I imagine it, it will fit all together. So, we will simply go. First uh, sub-assembly that we have here is uh, the body. So I will open it. And this is the body and we will go one by one. So first we will have this part. Then the engines will be assembled. If you can see here is a hole and here is this side. The engine has have uh, its all uh, pin and it will basically fit right into it. After that we have this side and this side. They will be printed like this so that all the details could be there and no uh, supports are needed. Here is a lock so they will fit inside. 
then we have this holder as you can see here they have this uh, opening and it has the corresponding pieces so it fits there nicely another part is here it will go through this lock and then the whole thing will be fitted by two of those side parts that I have here we have a pin and those two parts have corresponding hole so it will all snap together uh, also here we have these sliders and this part have uh, the corresponding hole for it and of course those three pins here that will be used later and finally we have to insert pins to all those holes that are here so all the pins that are inserted are exactly the same so this is the main body then we have a front nose so here we have the first part then inside we will insert once again those same connectors then inside uh, insert sorry the bottom part as you can see here we have pins and it has corresponding holes and also holes here so inside we will insert the pins as well and then the sides and the sides as you can see here here and here they have corresponding holes as well so it will basically make one sturdy sub-assembly that will be inserted inside it has here this uh, chamfer so it will be slided here and then we will have the third sub-assembly the covers and those are basically three big or four four big pieces four big panels with this one and uh, they basically have to s uh, snap everything together so yeah, they have holes here so they will attach here and the same goes for everyone every everything else yeah here it has pins 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 and the part as you can see have corresponding holes to each of them so it will hold everything together and the same on the other side so pin 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 corresponding hole corresponding 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 hole the same here and it even has the lock so basically those two pieces go together and then snap snap together and then we have this part as you can see I, I mentioned that there are three pins and also those pins here this part as you can see has corresponding holes for all so it should snap together and hold everything very tightly including the front nose and then last but not least we have to insert this part that has corresponding hole and basically finish the looking like this then we have hangars this is very um, straightforward sub-assembly consisted of only four pieces so basically we have the front part of the hangars which have 
uh, this hole and will be printed like this and then we have a second part of the hunger which will be printed like this and as you can see the the pin here goes into the hole here and it will all stuck uh, stuck together and when it comes to the hangars themselves they will be inserted into this basically pin yeah so it will be sl it slides together and that's it and then the biggest sub assembly the superstructure Now, before I will go into it, I simply want to mention here we have a pin, 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 and the superstructure simply go onto them. And how does the uh, superstructure uh, works? Well, quite easy. So we will once again go. We have this part and its counterpart. They have those logs. They will be printed like this, so that all the details are here. Once those two are there, then we have the second layer. It uh, those have those logs as well, but note that uh, right now they are only lying on the uh, first layer. No, nothing that uh, connects them yet then inside those holes we will insert those cylinders uh, it could be as a one piece but i decided to make them separate simply because they are white so uh, that's just for the purpose of paint okay now we will insert this part it is done like this and the purpose is that it will actually connect those two layers here as well we have the second one and this should actually uh, hold the two layers uh, in place before we actually secure them which we will do in uh, following uh, steps here we have the another superstructure right now it's not even connected to the first part but with the this part it will be this part actually as you can see here we have a holes two holes and opening and here we have a lock this part has this lock corresponding uh, filling and those uh, pins it will be printed like this and it will uh, hold everything together and then here we have uh, two more holes and inside goes this part that has corresponding pins and the name and then we will simply use once again the same connectors so they are here and simply put the last part so as you can see no glue requires what's uh, required whatsoever and when this is done then all the missile covers so two rear ones eight uh, middle ones and two front ones those are the exact same models as from my trio 4 and then of course railguns those as you can see are also the exact same as uh, on my 304 and um, well that's basically it that is the X303 Prometheus model that I did so I would say this is all when it comes to the presentation of the model itself. 
um, then obviously first I have to finish uh, all the prints for the 304 but uh, once that is done I will immediately go for the 303 and do the Prometheus okay then I suppose that's all for now uh, I hope you like the model uh, then I guess we will see each other later so bye bye